I guess that would be when I was young. I can't remember the exact occasion, but I've always been interested in people who have their own ideas, express their own ideas, uh, pursue their own ideas. And I realized quite early on that that was something that I wanted to do myself as well. I grew up in a, in a very uh, uh, conventional household and I don't think my family were particularly interested in, in the arts or culture or creativity or innovation. But they were a very supportive family and very loving family and so they gave me complete freedom to do what I felt to be important and that was the most important support. I was very lucky. I went to a school where we were encouraged to, again, to be ourselves. And indeed, every morning, we, every boy in the school was asked to decide themselves what they wanted to study that day. And so I was given the responsibility at the age of eight to, again, make up my own mind, decide what I was interested in and, and to pursue that. Europe has an astonishing cultural tradition and heritage um, and it has very bright and well-educated people. A number of different countries speaking different languages and uh, a very high level of diversity and energy and, and, and at the moment um, a lot of exchange between all the countries of Europe. But we are generally not as good in generating new companies that are dominant in their field and keeping them uh, to be global, large-scale operators. The creative economy is developing ideas whose value depends upon creativity and putting those into the marketplace. And that happens in Europe. What does not happen in Europe at the moment is the, is the development of that with the money on an international level. So we, we, have the, we have the intellectual abilities, we don't yet have the, the appetite for risk and the appetite for long-term development that you see in other countries. Well, that's a very European question. Um, and it's a question also, I find it around the world. Um, it's not an American question. The Americans and other countries would say that it's, it's up to the individuals and the businesses and the companies to, to do that. Government can do certain things, but it, it can't take responsibility for building up big companies. It doesn't have the skill, it doesn't have the aptitude, it doesn't understand, it, uh, it, it just doesn't work like that. Unless you go to the path taken in China, where companies are, at the end of the day, regulated and influenced by government willingly. European companies don't like that. So, um, governments can help with education, they can help with funding for startups, they can adjust the tax rules and they can do bits of detailing, but, but the, the ability of Europe to develop big companies generating wealth that stays in Europe instead of going off to America, that's up to business. I don't believe the government has a big role there. Creativity is an individual aptitude. It's, 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 not, it's not a social or cultural, it's individual. And it's up to the individual to take responsibility for their ideas and to develop their ideas and to argue them and with passion, to learn how to manage their ideas 
to learn how to balance what they want to do with what the market wants. Many, many people, whether they are the creative people or the inventors or the investors, tend to forget about marketing and sales. Marketing and sales are critical parts of the creative economy. I think creativity and innovation are, are, are fundamental forces that are changing the world. And the creative economy is around the world growing faster than traditional manufacturing or traditional services. It is changing schooling and education, it's changing learning, it's changing the way cities develop, it's changing the relationship between cities, it's changing the way research is done, our ability and our desire to confront the major challenges of the time, like poverty and food shortages and water shortages and global warming and religious conflict and it's an influence of all of those major challenges at the time and the, the, its influence is growing but it's not by any means a, a linear smooth development. To me it's one of the major influences on the future of how we see ourselves and, and the societies we live in.